welcome back to Jod's Shop. This video shows the installation of our new garage floor winch, so one person would be able to move non-working vehicles into the shop. We welcome all comments and suggestions you may have. Please add them below. Also, if you like the video, remember to hit that thumbs up button. We decided to install a Harbor Freight electric winch. It's a 120 volt, 1500 pound capacity. The price was reasonable, especially with the 20% off coupon. And the reviews were overall okay. Opening the box, we see the manual, the base plate, the fastener package, the fair lead, and finally the winch with the attached remote control. The link to the winch is in the description below. The fastener package includes four bolts for attaching the base plate to whatever you're going to mount on three bolts for attaching the winch to the base plate, and two bolts for attaching the fair lead guide to the front. After we put the winch together, there's a few hints that we thought we'd share to make your installation easier. First, notice how close the fair lead nuts are to the winch after their installation. This spacing causes the supplied bolts to be too long, so we ended up replacing them with shorter bolts. Our second hint deals with attaching the winch to the base plate. The manual says to first attach the winch, then attach the fair lead. However, doing it in that order made it very difficult to attach the fair lead even with the shorter bolts we replaced earlier. What if we attached the fair lead first, then attached the base plate? This leads to the problem that it's very difficult then to attach the front bolt holding the winch to the base plate. So our recommendation is to first loosely attach the front bolt holding the winch to the base plate. Then attach the fair lead to the base plate and finally attach the two back bolts holding the winch to the base plate. The last major issue we found was using the supplied bolts to attach the winch to the base plate. Since the bolts extend below the base plate, the base plate ends up wobbling on a flat surface. To solve that problem, we created two large 3 8 inch steel plate shims that would go under the base plate. We cut the shims with our slugger metal cutting chop saw. By the way, we really like the slugger and highly recommend it. After the shims were cut, we ground down the edges and the corners. Then we drilled the 7 8 inch bolt holes. Now our winch lays flat and solid when we use the shims. We decided to go with the same wedget anchors we used on the Danmar lift to attach the winch to our floor. The box we ordered comes with five anchors along with the sacrificial nut, bolt, and washer. As before, we went with a larger, more robust washer. Remember to set the distance between the top of the anchor and the bottom of the washer to whatever the instructions say. This will give you the correct depth to drive the anchor down. The link to the anchors is in the video description. We decided we wanted the winch to be mounted below one of our work tables. 
we ended up drilling three 7 8 inch holes five inches deep into our six inch slab. We determined we only needed three bolts to hold the winch down. After drilling all the holes, make sure you clean them thoroughly. Then set your three anchors. Remember to set the correct embedment depth with the bolt and washer. After the anchors are fully seated in the hole, tighten the nuts while holding the bolt head secure. We needed about three turns to fully seat the anchors. The anchor top ended up approximately a quarter inch below the concrete floor. Clean out all the holes and you're ready to go. We put down the winch. In case you're wondering, the wood wedge is there so we could get the anchor bolts in a little easier. Operating the winch is very simple. On the right side, pull out the clutch knob and lock in the freewheeling position. Then you can pull the cable out to your desired length. Finally, push the knob in to re-engage the clutch. Grab your remote and you're ready to go. Notice the remote has very nice large buttons that are clearly labeled. Removing the winch now is as easy as removing the large Danmar lifts we previously installed. It's time to move the truck out of the shop and to test our new winch. Oh no, it looks like we're going to have to wait for another day. Ask my assistant now to clear off the driveway. Our next planned episode will deal with checking the engine's condition. Also, once the snow melts some, we'll move the truck out to pressure wash it. That's all, folks, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. It's free.